But whether or not Ritter or anybody plays, the Falcons got tons of ultra competitive reps in two joint practices with the Dolphins this week. Seems like more and more teams are partnering up for preseason practice. You can see the benefits. Our Kelly Price and DJ Shockley braved the South Florida heat to let you know what they saw. Well, into three weeks of training camp, the Falcons were definitely ready to start hitting another team, and they were doing that here in Miami. It's hot out here, but it was also getting kind of spicy and chippy out there. Yeah, spicy is an understatement. It got <laughs> real chippy today as the Falcons and Dolphins went into their second day of practice, and it was really chippy on the defensive side of the ball. You saw a couple fights. You saw a couple guys getting into it, but you love that energy. That's what you expected on another hot day like we talked about, and guys were starting to feel it like, okay, game is starting to get ready. Game is right around the corner on Friday, but you love the chippiness out of the defense. You love the way they were fighting. They were getting after it. Arthur Smith even talked about it. Hey, I didn't mind our guys getting into it with him, but as long as it didn't take away from everything they were trying to accomplish. But you love the fact that today the energy level was ramped up a little bit. Well, the defense was getting after it, but so was the offense. Offense was out there making plays, especially in that red zone drill. What'd you see from them today? Yeah, you got to love that, especially in the red zone. They were doing 707, and Desmond Ritter and that group were doing such a great job of finding the end zone. It wasn't just like completions and they were going down before the end zone, they were throwing touchdowns. Saw Fitz, Fitz Patrick catch a touchdown, saw Bijan catch a touchdown, Mac Hollins even slam one against the goalpost. There were a lot of guys making plays, and then you even saw the energy from Desmond Ritter after throwing one particular touchdown. He runs in, he yells, and he's all yep. active. That's what you like to see. The confidence that they're building in the red zone is super huge, and to see guys execute that is a whole other thing as far as just going into this game. So I'm looking forward to seeing what can actually happen if these guys get a chance to play, but it was fun to see the energy for one from the defense and then the execution on offense scoring touchdowns in the red zone which is we know something the Falcons struggle with so if they can do that more uh, this coming season it will be fun to watch and doing it so many different ways I mean guys were really lined up in a lot of different formations it was really cool to watch we really saw that positionless football we keep hearing out hearing about kind of take place on the field all right well that'll do it from uh, joint practices here in Miami for DJ Shockley I'm Kelly Price in Miami KP, Shock, thank you so much. We've got a busy day Friday right here on Fox 5. Join us at 6.30 p.m. for our Dirty Bird Report pregame show. Full of live reports from Miami, Falcons legends in studio, and much more. The game, Falcons and Fins, right here at 7, followed immediately by our post-game show. It should be a fun one to watch. And even if you don't get to see all those starters, that's where the intrigue comes in the preseason, mm -hmm. right? Who are going to earn these backup jobs? Those final yeah. roster spots could go a long way. What happens Friday night? We can read the tea leaves no matter who is out there playing. That's our right? job is reading <laughs> TV. And maybe we'll get a little peek at the starters. Bijan, Kyle Pitts, those yeah. guys. If they play, probably won't be much, but it'll be right here on Fox yeah. 5. Yeah. All right.